I did not know the definition of a concussion even after having a Harvard degree and 19 years of bashing my head because we've never forced anyone to ever tell an athlete what it means when you get hit in the head and, and things go uh, fuzzy. And so uh, the idea, the problem was always informed consent at the beginning. And that's why Ted Johnson, who was one of the first players to come forward, the former New England Patriot, stepped forward. He said, you know, at least let me make this decision for myself. And so in 2010, the NFL finally did start educating the players. And so now it's a different ball game at the pro level. But what really needs to have a, a, a light shined on is the fact that there is no such thing as informed consent for children. And 95% of the people playing football in this country are under the age of consent. They're under 18. And that's where we really should be focusing. Well, let's talk, <clears throat> let's talk about that for a minute. I bet there are a lot of moms and dads and kids who are listening right now. What about a family whose kid is just really good in football and in high school? Maybe they're even being headhunted right now uh, for the big leagues. What do you say? I say it, it's a huge risk right now. It, it's it, your child surviving uh, start youth football is right now mostly luck because there are so few standards in place to actually protect them. Consider the fact that yesterday the NFL and NFLPA announced they will now have independent neurologists on the sideline because they do not trust the team doctors to make a judgment about whether or not someone has concussion and go back in. That's the level of safety we have at the NFL. They even pay an athletic trainer to sit in the skybox to watch the television feed because they miss so many concussions on the field. If that's what these millionaires need to protect themselves, your child has no medical professionals, coaches with no training, uh, you know, their young developing brain is more sensitive to the trauma. And so from that perspective, you wonder how you could expose children to a game that we think is killing adults.